Sunday. What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. And it is time for the concierge tip of the week. I'm your boy, EJ Brad from EJ Brad and Kai. And we are going to be talking about something good today. So I hope you're ready for it. I thank you for watching this week's concierge tip of the week. And I hope that you catch all of them every Sunday. So we have some things to talk about. All right, you see my background here. You see all the different foods. So we're going to talk about something that we all love, food. But not just food. We're going to talk about food delivery services. All right. So if you can remember back, back in the days, depending on how old you are, there used to be only a few options for like delivery. So it was either like pizza delivery, um basically or Chinese delivery you know you would call up the actual restaurant and then they'll you know deliver your food to you so Domino's used to have their 30 minutes of free um, slogans Pizza Hut you would call the Pizza Hut customer service that I used to work at and then get your pizza delivered you know so or you'll call your favorite Chinese place and get your Chinese food delivered nice and hot from the from the restaurant so Things have expanded and grown quite a bit in delivery services because we have so many options these days. So I want to talk about the different options for food delivery services. You know, whether you're traveling, whether you're at home, I just wanted to talk about some different things that you can do to make life a little easier or a little faster, you know. And of course, everything comes with a price. Now, you know, when we had COVID, you know, with COVID and the pandemic, when we were first getting started, you know, delivery service became really something that a lot of people were doing, you know, and there was a lot of essential workers out there that were delivering these food items and or groceries to us. So I want to say a thank you to you all for your service because the essential workers really held it down for us, you know, for this pandemic and they're still doing it today. So, and this is all essential workers, but since we're talking about food deliveries, I'm, we're going to get back to that. Now, there are several food delivery options to choose from these days. So we're going to talk about your the ones that a lot of people probably use. So you have Grubhub. Grubhub is a delivery food service that, you know, you go to their website or you download the app and you can register for free. And then you put your address in and then it shows you all the restaurants in your area that are affiliated with Grubhub for delivery. So there's like from your fast food places like McDonald's or Burger King to your casual restaurants to your fancy restaurants. So anything that you're looking for, you can have it delivered to you. So that helps out a lot, especially like if it's raining, you don't feel like going out to get something, you know, you're having just a lazy day, or you just don't just want to have something delivered, you know. So Grubhub is one of those um, websites or food services that is ideal. And the good thing with Grubhub, they have, when you, the more you spend, the more you earn back in what they call perks. So perks are like um, when you get like $5 off of anything over $15 that you spend or $6 off or $3 off or buy one, get one free or something like that. So they have those options for food deliveries and it's called perks. So you'll see that your perks go up the more that you buy. And then also Grubhub has like a, a, a program too or like a, a membership where you pay a monthly service and then all of your deliveries are free. So you have free delivery. So because, you know, with these food delivery services, you know, there's always delivery fees involved. So you have your actual price, your menu prices for the food. So you'll have your subtotal, you have your taxes, you have what they call a service charge or a delivery charge, which is not the charge that the driver gets. Then there's a tip for the driver. So all of those things add up and the delivery fees vary quite a bit. They can be anywhere from 99 cents to 5.99. I've seen them as high as 7.49. I'm like, who pays for that? But those things are also based on the areas that you live in too and the restaurants that you go to, those fees. So I always try to look for the cheapest fees, you know, and, and basic uh, versus the best restaurant or, you know, the, what I have a taste for that day. And then and then I use my little perks because I've been using Grubhub quite a bit. We use it a lot around here. We've done some videos from Grubhub. So 
you know, it's a good tool to use. And then they have their customer service. If you have a problem with the order, you can always go to the help section or you can chat with the customer service person or you can have them call you. And then you can, you know, discuss if you had an issue with your food. So in most cases, I will say that with all food services, I've had about a good, like a 90, 92% satisfaction rate. Um, sometimes a little higher depending on the food service. So that's what... Um, that's, that's the one that we're going to talk about. I'm sorry, I had a little brain freeze for a minute. So Grubhub is the one. Now, number two is DoorDash. And DoorDash is just like Grubhub. You know, you, you sign up on the app, you know, or you can go online. You can go to your favorite restaurants and order and have it delivered. Um, the one thing about DoorDash, they have, instead of like Grub, Grubhub um, membership, they have what they have, a door, a Dash Pass. And the Dash Pass is something membership that you pay for where you can get unlimited deliveries for free. And then they also have other perks with that. Um, DoorDash, I do like, but I like Grubhub better. That's just my personal opinion. Some people do like DoorDash. But DoorDash is about is the same as, um, you know, the, the same as Grubhub. So you do have those there. And they're awesome to use. So you have... Grubhub, you have DoorDash. Now, I'm going to talk about another one, number three, which is Uber Eats. Now, we all know about Uber driving services, right? Well, Uber has expanded to so many different levels, and they have their Uber Eats. And Uber Eats, I like because um, the difference between, so like, difference between Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. With Uber Eats, you know, you do have the name of the driver for all the food delivery service so you know the name of the driver but with uber eats you know you can see the car you know and you can see how how far they are from you so say if you were waiting outside for your the, the food delivery you know who's pulling up you know the car and you know the name you know with the other two you don't know what kind of car they have but it's just like with uber if you were waiting for a ride with uber eats you know the car and the name and then you see the map where they're coming to you Grubhub has a map, DoorDash has a map, but I think that Uber Eats has an advantage when it comes to that because you have the name and you have the make and model of the car. So Uber Eats and another good thing about Uber Eats that I like is that some of their delivery service fees are like 49 cents for some of the restaurants. So you have some that are 49 cents, some that are 79 cents, 99 cents, a dollar 49. And then of course you have some of your high ones. Now, one of the other perks about Uber Eats is that they will let you know if, you know, they don't have enough drivers for that for that area or it's high demand in that area. So it might take a little longer or it's high demand um, period, like it's traffic, like during rush hour. So they may not be able to give you the regular fee that they give. They raise their fi uh, fees. So, you know, and all the delivery services do that. You know, they have higher fees sometimes, higher wait times. Um, sometimes you can get things within 20 to 30 minutes, depending on where the restaurant is. Sometimes it's 40 to 50 minutes. Sometimes it's 60 to 70 minutes. It just depends, you know. Now, we're going to talk about, so we've talked about those major food delivery places. But we also want to talk about grocery delivery services. Because, you know, sometimes you want more than just uh, your fast food or your quick dinner. You might want to get groceries. And, you know, since the pandemic, those have expanded so much. I mean, you have Instacart. You know, Instacart goes to different um, food places like Kroger's or Publix. You know, you sign up for Instacart. And then you, they can, you pick which grocery store you want them to go to. And then you get your groceries. You pick your groceries out. They charge you a fee for it. And if you get like enough groceries, like a certain amount of groceries, then your delivery um, is free. Um, so you can use those a lot. They are very good to use. There's also one called um, uh, Shipt, which is similar to uh, the, the other ones as well. And they are good for like grocery shopping. Now, one of my favorites and that we use a lot is Amazon. Now, Amazon Fresh and Whole Foods through Amazon. You can get groceries delivered through those. 
Now, it does require for you to have an Amazon Prime membership, which I have the membership of $12.99 a month, which is ideal, it comes with so many perks. But with Amazon Fresh, you know, you can order groceries. Um, if you have an EBT card, you guys, you know, if you, you know, have, have you know, the EBT uh, food stamp program, you know, you can use your EBT card for, to pay for it, which is unique through um, Amazon Fresh. And Whole Foods, you can order from Whole Foods, and then you can pick your time slot when you want to deliver. And if you spend $35 or more, the delivery is free. And then the tip for the driver is optional through Amazon, even though you do want to tip your driver. You know, I feel it's good to tip drivers. You know, I did a video about tipping, so we must remember to always tip. But with Amazon Fresh, it's just, it's something about their service sometimes that's really good. Now, I've had some bad ones too. Nobody's perfect, but I do like Amazon Fresh and Whole Foods through Amazon. So you have your shit, you have, Instacart, you have even Kroger. Kroger has their own grocery deliveries. You have so many. You have Walmart and so many different kinds. So you you know you have a lot to choose from. You have options, which is good. It's always good to have options. So we've talked about food deliveries. We talked about grocery deliveries. Now also through I think it is DoorDash. Yeah, I think it's DoorDash. They also have where they, if you need essentials, you can go to Walgreens, they can go to Walgreens for you. They can go to CVS for you. And they can pick up other items as well. So you have so many things to choose from. Like, and then sometimes they go to convenience stores. Whatever's listed, whoever's affiliated with those services, they can go and get things for you. And I just think that all the delivery services are pretty good. Um, you know, you just have to see what your what's good for you, what's the best fit for you, you know, because you never know what that is. All right, so we have talked about so many different food delivery services and grocery delivery services and convenience store deliveries. Now, I'm going to tell you about two new things that you may not know about. One is not as new, but it is very popular. And the other one is fairly new. So, the one thing is GoPuff. Now, GoPuff was started by college students who wanted to make it easier for college students to get things that they needed. When they're studying for exams, you know, they want to get some snacks late night or, or you know, like in the afternoon when they're studying. So GoPuff is an app that you can use to get just about any type of snack that you want. They have ice creams. They even have essential things as well. You know, you can get batteries. You can get flashlights. You can get toilet paper and paper towels. You know, you can get, um, I think you can even get COVID tests now through GoPuff as well. So they have a lot of things for everybody's needs. So that's a good thing. GoPuff is really good. And then you can earn points that way. If you have enough points, you can get 10% off of an order once you get as much point, once you accumulate points. And it's really ideal too. So GoPuff, make sure you remember that one. College kids is very essential for it, but I think it's good for everybody. We've used it a lot. And sometimes with GoPuff, what I like is that every now and then they throw in a free item. You know, you'll get like a free energy drink or, a, you know, free protein bar or something like that. And it comes with a little card. You know, thank you for being with GoPuff. I really like GoPuff a lot. So that is also a great delivery service. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about is sometimes you just want a little bit more than food and groceries. Sometimes you want some little um, libations. You know, you want just some good old drinks like some beer or some wine or some liquor. So there is an app that we discovered, Kai and myself, it's called Drizzly. It has like a little bear on it. It's a really cute app and it is, and it might not be available in all areas because it is based on who uses, you know, who signed up, what, what liquor store or what beverage store signed up with the app. But you can buy beer, wine, liquor, you know, snacks, it's just a really cool app. You know, one time we wanted to get some things for the holidays. 
and we were able to get them. So depending on, it tells you, well, depending on your area, it tells you like which package stores or liquor stores or ABC stores are in your area and what's available at that store. So it'll tell you like if you like a certain type of wine, a white wine or, or rosé or Moscato or, you know, whatever kind of wine you want, or whatever kind of liquor you want, you pick the category or you type in the name of it. It tells you where it's located, where it's coming from, and what their limit, what their uh, minimum purchase is for delivery. Then there's a delivery fee attached to that as well. And then they tell you how long it's going to take to get it delivered. But it's really cool. And with that too, when you when they come to you, they do have to confirm that you are 21 and over. So they check your ID right before they give you the package because they want to make sure that you are 21 and older. So it's a really cool idea though. It's a great concept. And you know, I don't know if, if it's new to the to the social media world, but I do remember some years ago, like back in 2008, I was in New York, and New York probably was ahead of the times, but I, it was New Year's Eve, and I was on a job assignment there, and I couldn't leave the job assignment, but we wanted to bring in the New Year's. So there, I did a, a search on Google for deliveries of wines or champagnes, and I found a place in New York that delivered some champagne. We were able to make a champagne toast at the strike of 12, and it was amazing, and that was back in 2008. So don't know if those services were new, are new in general, but this is something that is new to Georgia, and it may be new to your area, and it's called Drizzly. So guys, in closing, I just want to recap that we talked about food delivery services, Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats. You have sh grocery deliveries like Shipt, Kroger, Walmart, Instacart, you know, Publix and Kroger through Instacart. You have your DoorDash for your CVS and for your um, Walgreens for a convenience store purchases. You have your um, GoPuff for the college kids or for other people who want snacks right away. And you have your beer, wine, and liquor delivery services. So all of these things are available, guys, and it's just an awesome thing to have. So I want to thank you for this concierge tip of the week segment. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you can use these things. We'll put those links down at the bottom in the description box. And I hope that we will see you on the next concierge tip of the week, which is every Sunday. Also, you can catch the EJ, Brad, and Kai videos every Monday and every Friday. And we love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure that you like subscribe and share this video and you hit that notification bell and we will see you on the next one have a good one wait hold on one minute you're not done yet don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and also follow us on instagram and twitter